in this kingdom there is spiritual growth at a default state you will be growing either in light or in darkness and so if you did not consciously you know choose the things that enter your ear the things that enter your eyes and then the things that are quickened in your heart you will find out that since you did not put in conscious effort to grow towards light your life will begin you will still be growing at the end of the day you will be growing towards darkness the cosmos has been rigged the cosmos has been designed to at cruise mode help everybody to grow in darkness from the kinds of things you know that fly as entertainment mind you no no spirit is interested in entertaining you every content is either edifying you or polluting you you call it a joke it's only a surface level is a joke there's an underlying message behind it all there are all kinds of campaign hidden and veiled and we really don't see the underlying motive there is nothing like entertainment if that content did not edify your spirit it will corrupt you from the inside mind you you will never be better than the state of your mind the state of your mind will never be better than you it is as you think in your heart that is how you will be so satan will not tell you to do anything he will sneak his suggestions into your mind then your body is helplessly at the mercy of the state of your mind anything that has entered the mind certainly is just a matter of time it will enter your body so we live in a world surrounded with all kinds of shades of immorality different layers of pornography and the young man the young woman is thinking why is it hard to live holy when everything that enters you from the adverts from the you know fashion sense everything that enters you is actually selling some layers of defilement i was sleeping one day in my 300 level on campus and i have this roommate that plays secular music it's very loud and so i told him that I, I don't like it so he would wait until i fall asleep then he will now play it so i i woke up one morning i wanted to go and take my bath I now heard a song inside my soul. I heard there's a song. It's All My Ladies. There was that All My Ladies was on repeat inside me. As in, my, my soul was enjoying it. He was just, you know, singing it. And then I, I knew that there, if you search my phone, you will not find that content. How did it enter my heart? Even when you are sleeping as a spiritual man, your gates are still open. If you know what that 12 hours is, you will not, you will not just leave it empty like, like that. That 12 hours is time for encounters. If I want to meet God's servant, my father, Apostle Michael Ropo, and I know that he is busy. I, I thought I, I shared this with some of us last time. I would, I would think on the things I want to ask him eh? intentionally before I go to bed. I will wish that if I see this man, this is what I will ask him. That question that I have I have brought out I have singled out and I will carry one of his tape in that moment you don't leave the thing to play put it on repeat keep one thing if it's a song leave it on repeat when the tape start playing when you start sleeping the chances that you will have encounter with that person that you know your ears is listening to is very high and since you had premeditated that encounter you have left some questions in your heart the discussion you have in that encounter is exactly what you were thinking about before you went to bed sometimes you can even carry a challenge and say i wish i can meet this person i know this thing and then you realize the spirit of just men is not reserved for death alone it's not till they die their spirit can join you too even when you are alive spirits can actually network they can bring illumination to you they can meet you at certain if only you know where to meet them you will find them man doesn't want to live holy man doesn't want to be righteous man lives inside darkness and is wondering why there are so many question marks so many handwritings and the real protection of a man is where he, he stays he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high the bible says shall abide under the shadow of the almighty since we speak about these two great lights 
the light that rules the day and the light that rules the night you will begin to see a very important prophecy left to anybody who wants to understand the ways of the end time the bible speaking in isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 it says behold the darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness will cover the people the bible went further to make it clear that they are not talking about darkness you know just as a rain of you know the the spirits of the fallen cherub they began to share that this darkness was referred to as the darkness so there is a difference between go and get me a book and go and get me the book when i say get me a book you can go and bring any book you want because the book that i speak about i just said a book it was not specified but the bible says behold the darkness the darkness is like saying the book it means there is something that has been established that particular book is what you will get which darkness the darkness that was spoken about in genesis chapter 1 where the bible spoke of a darkness that have the capacity to cover the earth isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 says behold the darkness will cover the earth this will be for the second time now but this time satan will not only be interested in taking territories the bible says gross darkness will cover the people so satan has a package of darkness that is to master spaces he has another package of darkness that is for the destinies of men so he knows that you are the light that there is a light of god on your inside and when god wants to take his glory you you will permit that light to shine so that men will see your good work and glorify your father who is in heaven and so in an attempt to stop that a package called gross darkness how does satan actually lock down spaces and lock down territories he institutes darkness as a system what many of us call temptation from satan satan has not even had our time yet you are only you are only dealing with the darkness the darkness is like a culture the darkness is like a system so what you are actually falling for is not the attention of that being called satan yet it's just the system that he sets around the place you go to certain regions and there are predominant scenes in those places certain peculiar scene that reign in those places if you see such kinds of you know um, appearance what you are dealing with in that place is the darkness that covers the earth there are many people who will be victims of that arrangement satan don't even know them yet the day satan will know you is when you overcome that layer that all men are subjected to mind you this package is only to keep a territory under dominion for darkness they didn't use this particular darkness for men if it is for a man they have a weapon it's called cross darkness you know you you entered you entered on, on nature you now saw people dressing carelessly you now say you were tempted satan did not tempt you what you fell for is your atmosphere it's just an environment that subjected you the day you will know whether satan tempted you a creature the, it, it is then you will know that the weapon was formed and fashioned with you in mind it was not the general weapon they were thinking about you when they were concocting that weapon is that one and god says no weapon formed or fashioned against you will prosper any tongue that rises up against you uh, nothing is against you yet you are just you, you just see somebody dressed carelessly in abuja and you say that it's not easy <laughs> you are a victim of just an atmosphere there is a depth of holiness a depth of consecration when you begin to hit you become you become visible to the powers that be all this while they don't know you if you like be shouting if you like be shouting i told us already the protection package of holiness is stronger than the protection package of prayer anything you are doing if holiness is not factored into your nature you are a waste of time because ultimately god's greatest desire is to get a house the only way to house God is to become a vessel, purged, meat for the master's use. In a great house, the Bible says, there are many vessels. You reported as a child of Adam. Everybody came in as a child of Adam. You will need to intentionally depart from that lineage and come under Jesus. Many of us are speaking in tongues, shouting, you know, and you get to know Ah, today may God help us to drop anything we must drop aside 